Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. September's almost over, so I was like, let's do a tag video. This is the Geekology book tag. I was tagged several months ago, I apologize, by a plot twist with Jesse. so thank you for that tag. Forgive me because it took me this long to get to it, but I'm very excited. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure to link Jessie's video down below, so please check out her video as well. I'm not sure who created this exactly, but that's okay. I'll put all the details in the description box. <laughs> so without, you know, too much more than what I've already said, let's get into it. Question one, what was the book you read that made you feel really like a geek? <sighs> so I think the book that made me feel like a geek was when my husband suggested me to start reading uh, Ari Salvatore. So let me get the book for you. So I've always been an avid reader, but I had never read um, like high adult fantasy. The Forgotten Realms, like I guess world you could say is pretty well known. I'm pretty sure that like Forgotten Realms, blah, blah, blah. Like this has to do with like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons and I really don't think it would be for me but in general I really really loved this book. I started with the Dark Elf trilogy. Drizzt, amazing, love him as a character and then I read the next three books that my husband owned. I can't remember what their names are and honestly I've always wanted to go back and read this because this was fantastic. I mean this is all three books in one. I could not put this down. I read it several years ago and it definitely made me feel like, okay, high fantasy might be for me because at the, at the time I read this, I don't think I was reading a lot of adult fantasy books. And after I read this, it might have been like a few months later, maybe a few years, I'm not sure. He was the one who got me into reading Brent Weeks, which is another author who does adult fantasy. So I would say Ari Salvatore in general, the Drizzt saga is what made me feel the most like a geek. Ooh, okay, so I'm going to skip to question three because question two is going to require me to take you out of this. Um, and I guess I could have easily just done that and not told you. But who knows if the angle would have been correct. So we're going to skip to question three. We're going to call it question two. Uh, do you have any clothing that is geeky, t-shirt, etc.? Show us one of your favorites. So I assume you can see my shirt. Uh, I wear a lot of shirts that are anime related, created by Chenpai Sucks. I will absolutely link all of their information down below. Chenpai stuff is really, really funny. Uh, right now, this is the newest one that I've received. It's got Shikamaru and it says, miss me with that shit. And that's the thing I love about Chenpai is that it's already series that I really like, but the sayings, <laughs> the sayings get me every time uh, because some of them are Megan Thee Stallion quotes. And if you don't know this about me, I love Megan Thee Stallion. So yes, I have tons of anime shirts. Uh, I don't, th that's pretty much it. I have a lot of anime short sh shorts. I don't have any anime shorts, shirts. Uh, and now, because of my husband, uh, a lot of them are by Chen Pai. So getting that one out of the way. Now let's move you around. So for the next question, show us your favorite collective figures that you have. So let's go on a field trip, y'all. So for anyone who's already watched my bookshelf tour slash office tour, you've seen these. And honestly, I don't, <laughs> I want to say I don't have a favorite figure because I love them all, but in general, this display case is pretty much all Studio Trigger figures. You can probably tell. I really, really like Zero Two <laughs> from Darling in the Franks. I love Yoko from Gurren Lagann. I'm starting to get more Pro Mare figures, which make me very happy. Then you pan over to here. I've got some Demon Slayer figures that I really love. Most people who watch my videos are very familiar with all of these Sailor Moon figures I have. All of these pop vinyls, which I love. I don't know if I mentioned this in my office tour, 
but my favorite Sailor Scout is Sailor Pluto, so I have more figures of her than I have of Sailor Moon, like, as far as being big figures like that. <sighs> but, yes, yes, I love Studio Trigger. We've, you know, I, I just recently bought her. Ugh, I'm so excited. Dang it. <sighs> so this is the one <laughs> that I just recently bought. I love her. She's floating. Yes, there's some, you know, covered titties exposed. But I mean, look at Yoko. Look at her bunny version. She's so cute. We've got more, some more Yoko. Then you have Kill a Kill. I have some pop vinyls from Inuyasha. That's one of my favorite uh, anime. And then, yes, yes, I'm basic. I do like Beauty and the Beast. We're not going to focus on that too long. I don't want critiques. I just recently bought some more. Well, not recently. The most recent pop vinyl from Naruto I have is Shikamaru. Uh, thankfully, that took a while to get and these guys, I just have to get another, you know, tiered shelf, but actually find room for them on this Nart in this Naruto case. So do I have a favorite figure? <laughs> Maybe. I was so excited to get her, the bunny version of Zero Two, but I just recently found out <laughs> they're making another one where she's in light pink. So, no, I don't have a favorite because they're all my favorite. But as far as characters are concerned, I will jump through fire to find a Zero Two figure. That I can say without a doubt. Question four. Have you ever done cosplay? If yes, show us what you did. If no, what character would you like to do? So, I have never gone full out and done a cosplay because I always get super self-conscious when the time comes. There's only been one time where I've actually dressed up as a character and left the hotel room. <laughs> and that was when I went to KatsuCon with some friends. My lovely, beautiful friend Rochelle agreed to cosplay with me. I did Chibiusa, she did Sailor Pluto, and we did like the punk versions of them. I'm gonna try to find a picture I didn't really take many of myself and I only was downstairs out of our hotel room for like an hour until I was like, ah, I can't do it. <sighs> I'm sad because when I look at the pictures, like I looked really good. Like I really liked how I looked. I think it looked awesome. You knew I was like a punk version of Chibiusa because the wig was amazing. Okay. <laughs> that wig was good. Uh, so <sighs> yes and no. If I could cosplay a character, I'm not sure who I would do. I know you're probably thinking Zero Two, and maybe I would, but it would not be the suit, like the very like close fitting like plug suit or whatever. It would probably be her uh, uniform that she wears that uh, is a dress where she has tights underneath. Uh, not because I necessarily want to be super covered, but I do think I would probably be more comfortable in that anyway. And I've always wanted to do, who else have I wanted to cosplay? Mm. Well, <laughs> we'll say this, for one of the videos I'm about to do, I did, I already own this wig, okay, for Sakura from Naruto, and I bought the headband. It's only gonna be from the neck up, okay? So Sakura will, Sakura will be what I cosplay kind of next but if I could go full out with somebody yeah maybe a Sakura definitely a zero two and I think that's really it um but I want to be comfy I don't want to be uncomfortable so if it could be like a closet cosplay uh that's just very easy I would do that question five last comic or graphic novel that you have read and it's been a long time since I've read a graphic novel I think because I don't, nothing comes to mind when I first think of it. Um, I think the last, the last thing that I can remember is Monstrous. I finally caught up on the series on Hoopla. Uh, I know that I'm going to be reading a lot of graphic novels for Halloween, especially for like the Spookathon and other stuff. So I can get some spooky things read that I can actually complete. Because <laughs> I really want to complete these fucking prompts. Okay. Uh, comic. Mm, I don't know if you want to count this. 
as manga because I don't read a lot of like American comics like I don't read Marvel comics or DC uh, sometimes I read some other things but it's been a long time I would say the last thing I really read was like maybe like the newest volume of Rat Queens which mm, it's kind of fallen off for me but the most recent like manga I've read was Noragami. I'm catching up on that series trying to finish it and I'm collecting it off in the corner because my husband was really nice and built me some built me some shelves which you'll see I'm gonna make a video about that too so I'm excited so Noragami was the last manga and then Monstrous was the last graphic novel I read. Question six what is your favorite video game can be on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo. Uh, so as far as something that I've always loved, I've always loved Spyro the Dragon. That was a game I, I would literally, uh, we all know, everybody, everybody has that time where you are sick, so you have to stay home, but you really just want to beat that one level. So that was me when I was a kid. Uh, I definitely stayed home from sickness a few times just so I could play Spyro the Dragon. Thanks mom, I love you. Um, she watches these videos. I'm sure you knew that, but if you didn't know that, I love and adore you and I apologize for scaring school so much. Uh, <laughs> and I still play Spyro the Dragon to this day on my Switch. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna like Animal Crossing, but I really ended up liking it. Although my island will never be a five-star island because I'm just not that creative. So she's very basic still. I haven't played her in a while, but Animal Crossing would be that. And then as far as PC, because I do play some PC games with my husband, um, honestly, anything I play with him, I really like. Uh, we started off on a game called Raft. Then we went over to, oh, what was that game called? Uh, I can't remember. It's like, you're like, mining trolls or something what is that called I'll put it up somewhere uh but we've been recently playing uh horror games I play with him and some of his friends whom I want to shout out Beery Wolfie Weeping hello I love you guys y'all are so awesome I was absolutely nervous to play PC games and they have been so fucking awesome and fun to play with and obviously my husband but really anytime I play with them I'm enjoying myself so I don't have a favorite PC game but it, I just like playing it in general with my husband and my friends they make it worth playing all the time okay oh another trip okay from here on out more trips and I realize again didn't have to tell you that could have just edited it but you know what this is more fun isn't it when I just ramble so question seven, what is your favorite manga anime? Let us go. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So we are in my living room right now. These are a little bit, oh, here's my family. So that's my sister and me and my dad. And this picture, it didn't come out as good as I wanted when I printed it. That's me, my mom, and my sister. Anyway, my favorite series is on the living room. And that is A Comic Got Kill. If you've never watched my videos before, you might not know. But I love a comic got kill. Specifically, the manga. I love the anime too, but I absolutely recommend reading the manga. A comic got kill zero was awesome. I really, really loved it. It was a great start, or like, not start, a little prequel. A comic got kill zero came out after a comic got kill. But anyway, uh, in general, I just love this series so much. I could not recommend it more. Is it my favorite anime? It's definitely in the top ten. But after I read it, I know that the manga is uh, superior. Um, and then I do like Prison School. Uh, the Field Day arc is not my favorite, but I still have all the volumes. And then Raw Heroes by the same creator. But I would absolutely say that A Coming Out Kill is my favorite manga of all time. And question eight, did you used to play board games? Do you have any? So come with me to my attic to see all of the board games that we have. Don't mind the mess, don't talk about it. Don't talk about it, we're just gonna act like it's not there. So yes, <laughs> we do play board games. And here they all are, upstairs. <laughs> so I will say this, there's so many here that we have not even gotten a chance to play yet, sadly. Uh, like we haven't gotten a chance to play 
Migration Mars. My husband just got these. Ooh, excuse. Out of breath, y'all. These stairs are steep. I'm gonna tell you that. So, I will say this. My favorite board game is Five Minute Dungeon. So, this is just a really fun, easy, fast-paced game that my friend Toria discovered for us. We enjoyed playing it a lot. I played it with my dad, who swore up and down he didn't like board games but he had so much fun playing this i am a very basic person so yes i did like ticket to ride is one of my favorite games it's just building a train across america <laughs> and i like that okay i like a simple thing what do you meme is very fun uh but we're trying to get most of these played trust me no it probably doesn't seem that way because some of these are not open yet but that's okay our board game buddy is toria and we're all bit busy, but let me tell you something. She's our number one, and we will play most of these with her. I love you, Toria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's it. Yes, I'm out of breath. I was online when I said the stairs up to our attic are very steep, so forgive me. I have a little sheen of sweat. It is also hot up there. Thank you very much. So, thank you for watching. I don't really, I'm not gonna, you know, name drop anybody in the video. I'm gonna ask some people for permission if they'd like to be tagged. So look below for people that I eventually tagged or on Twitter because I'll tag them there too. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Any of these things I've mentioned, you guys interested in, do you like? Any board games you suggest? Uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like the video. If you like, like it. Subscribe to me. Hit the notification bell. Keep up with me. Follow my socials. They're in the description box. Thank you. Have a great day. Goodbye.